Hi everyone, welcome back to Aubrey here. We are in a whole new version of Rebuild The Sims. So last time I have done, like started a series of this, but there was some limitations. You guys said there shouldn't be any limitations and I should be able to use every single pack to create the ultimate world. So that's what we're gonna do. Before we get into the video here, there was just a pop up of subscribe, like, all that. That would be really good. But I have an announcement. I have started a new vlogging channel. There is a link to it in the corner right now. It's um, my, like, the channel is called My Ordinary Life. It follows my up and downs of my life. So I try to document everything the good, the bad, and everything in between. Go take a look. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow my day-to-day -day adventures uh, so yeah let's just jump into it here i thought the first lot that i really wanted to tackle was in del sol valley it's probably one of my least favorite worlds in the sims 4 and i thought that we could do something really cool so we're in this area in del sol valley where um, all the houses are kind of like these smaller houses. This would be an ideal starter home lot, but it's a huge lot. Like the lot is just too big. I don't understand why it's so big, because if you build a big grand mansion house here, it wouldn't fit in with the aesthetics that are around the lot. So if you take a look at the aesthetics next door, it's kind of like this very... Um, maybe I would say middle class, but a little under middle class. I mean, there is a bird in the background, but it's also a bit, you know, it's giving GTA San Andreas vibes, like Grove Street. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what it is or I'm just old, but that's the kind of vibes it's giving me. So I thought with the four rent expansion pack, now we can actually rent out uh, rooms, apartments, or in this case, houses so you could technically have one family live here um, or one person whatever you want and have multiple other households rent out the other lots i thought that would be really cool so that's what we're going to do here i split the lot uh, up into five smaller lots here and then we have a driveway in the middle now this lot has its own drive um driveway drive in whatever you want to call it i don't know like drive up from the curb up to the house it has its own drive up thingy i don't know what to call that sorry um and i decided to really utilize that by actually giving them a little garage here that fit in super well it looked good from the outside as well and i think these smaller houses are actually quite a cool little challenge because it's not a tiny home it's not a uh, full-on house it's that nice in-between spot where it's just it's nice and cozy that's kind of the only things that i can really say about it so i decided to have the garage facing out of the street but i really wanted to utilize the fake street that we're going to build in the middle of this um by having the front door actually face out that way so people can park there people can go there the neighbors can vi visit each other so yeah it was really cool now the one of the things that was actually a really nice challenge was like with this smaller house was the fact that I knew I wanted it to be a family house so how do I actually fit at least two sims into this space um without actually making it look very small and confined and I think I really achieved that so I'm going with Delsal Valley here for me it's very obvious American vibes and that's obviously the style they were going for. And I thought, you know what, that's that's just what these houses are going to be. They're going to be nice little suburban houses. And that's really the style I'm trying to encapsulate here. Um, so downstairs, you walk in. There is like a side closet where you can hang your stuff. One thing I know... I've seen a lot in American houses, especially in sitcoms and stuff like that, is they often there is like these half walls where you can, it's kind of, it's dividing the room, but not really dividing it fully. So it's 
semi-urban concept in that way and I thought that was really cool to try to incorporate into this space. Now the most important room for me um, and the room that really ties things together is the kitchen. So I knew I wanted to have a nice spacious kitchen in each of the houses. That was really important to me but also I wanted to now that I wasn't as restricted by any rules, I could build exactly what I wanted, choose the style exactly as I wanted, which was really cool. So I used the newer, um, I cannot remember if this was a stuff pack or a kit. Um, I believe it was a stuff pack. Favorite kitchen items. Like there, there's so many good items here and it really feels like it is custom content i don't know how else to describe it like the little knickknacks all the stuff and it can go on the shelves it's really good just made this whole room feel so much more alive and realistic and lived in which i loved um and then of course we have a little bar area but i also wanted to have a traditional seating area like the dining room space so combining these two really allowed me to maximize the space as much as possible and really have a nice feel to it. I still think that it feels spacious and the style is really down to earth. I think I actually the style that I imagined for this house, I think I achieved that um, almost to the T. You know, this is The Sims would a color wheel have helped? Absolutely, fucking literally. But we don't have a color wheel. But I will say what they've been doing with swatches and just keep adding more colors and swatch options is just awesome. Like that is the next best thing that we can get. That they actually take the swatch deal more seriously now. Do I think that The Sims 4 has begotten a like gotten a bit stale? Yeah. I am ready for a new Sims game or Paralives, whatever simulation game of the thousands. There are many. Um, I think there are currently two or three others like simulation, live simulation games um, announced. Super excited for those as well. Gonna give those a try, but there's definitely more out there than those. So yeah, I'm ready for something new. I really have my eyes on Paralives, which I think... It's just shaving up to like be really great. What they're doing with that game and it's such a small team looks awesome. So I'm 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 really excited about that. But looking at the living room here, it's a bit of an unconventional living room. So we actually walk into the uh, entrance hall where we have to the side a place where you can actually put your coats or whatever. I'm going to build that now. And then you have the living space. So again, these are smaller houses. So there's not a lot of room for these grand big, you know, then we have a hallway and it's like 200 meters long. And then there's the living room and then there's 200 meters to the side to the bedroom. This is a, a smaller package, but I also feel like because it is on the smaller scale, it feels more real, like more rare <laughs> it feels more realistic to me it's a bit more lived in which i can really appreciate um i really love the feel of it so that's definitely the vibe i was trying to cash in on here uh the realism and the you know feeling of homey uh just the realistic aspect to it because i know i have uh, about 90 uh, square meters of space and that actually runs out really fast. I have a fairly big apartment but if you've seen the makeover videos that I've done which actually good thing I come to that they're gonna be moved over to the My Ordinary Life channel so if you want the last makeover video it's gonna be up on the uh, channel over there in a couple of days so 
Again, I can highly recommend go subscribe to that. I have a lot of videos for that as well, as well as this one. And I also explain why I've been absent and where I've been. So again, for all my life updates and everything that's going on, if you want to follow that, go check out my ordinary life. But what I was saying is I have a fairly big apartment but when you start filling it up with furniture and stuff that you need and want and that makes sense to you the space actually fills up really fast and i feel like it's more realistic to have like these smaller sized rooms where in this case on the grid furniture can actually be and be functional but it still feels more on the homey side to me i think that is the more realistic way of approaching this, uh, especially this build here. And I think it turns out really good. So I have multiple of the houses on this street built already. I'm just doing a voiceover checklist here. So <laughs> just going through each of them. And this was the first one, but I think it turned out nice. So we did the bathroom. Um, and we're doing like a little office space here. You could probably tell in the beginning I was trying to make it into a spare bedroom, but those Murphy beds, I don't know. Every single time I've tried to use them, I on occasion do play The Sims myself, but every time I try to use them, they actually end up severely hurting my sim or I have a couple of times actually experienced them dying so I don't really trust them to put them into my builds unless I'm doing a tiny 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 house uh, which in this case I'm not you can make it into a spare bedroom if you want I cannot remember what this like the limit is to people who can live on the lot with the full rent expansion pack but i feel like it was a lot of people a lot more than we expected um so you could definitely fill up the houses with a couple of sims for each house maybe smaller families like that um as for renters so yeah i think the master bedroom here actually turned out really good now downstairs is not a bathroom sorry for saying that it's just a toilet room upstairs here we have the bathroom i did not feel like there was a need to have two bathrooms in this house because the bedrooms are upstairs you would go take a bath and go into your bedroom to get dressed again so why would there be a bathroom downstairs I thought a toilet room was more than enough. I tried to make this bathroom a bit more on the muted side. Um, but this, I don't know, this kind of beige gray color scheme for me really works in these bathroom spaces. I'm not the biggest fan of creating the bathrooms, but they have to be done and I still want them to be nice. So I thought that looked really good. Well, at least I thought it looked good. <laughs> if you didn't, that's fine totally okay <laughs> you can change it if you don't want to now we have the landing space here which was a really good opportunity to put in some extra furniture actually try to put in some skill-based activities so i put in the chess table we put in some more bookcases and then i just tried to make it look nice i didn't want to overcrowd it i didn't want to put any color scheme in there they were super like in your face and then i decided you can change this but i decided that this family had a little girl um like maybe she's a toddler maybe she's a child uh, in the life stage child I don't know but I just thought this was a really cute room and I actually realized at this point that the baby stuff takes up so much space like they put like if you want to put a chest down it takes up two squares which is the same amount as the coffee table here uh, in the picture so that I don't know it's it's actually quite difficult to build children's room in rooms in a small space because they take up a lot of squares the stuff that they need which i don't i have never really thought about that before i don't think so so yeah that was quite a realization to me but yeah i think everything turned out nice love the downstairs i overall just love this house 
and the way that the uh, staircase upstairs is kind of snuck away, but not really. It's like if you have guests, what would you do up there unless it's like for a child to play with a friend? The garage is really cool looking. We have a laundry room out there. I think it turned out really good. Tell me what you think about the house in the comment section down below. Now, it's not up on the gallery yet because I haven't finished the whole lot, but I am going to spit out videos on The Sims and on my ordinary life as crazy over the next few weeks um, and keep on going. So I have a lot to say. Again, if you want to check out my ordinary life, my vlogging channel, I would really appreciate it. So go give it a, a subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and hit that like on the newest video I've done. The last and final of the makeover videos of my apartment will also be up there. Spoilers, it's a two part video because it's long. It's the biggest room. So go check that out. And again, tell me what you thought about this build in the comment section down below. While you are down there, here comes the plug. <laughs> Why not hit the video with a like, share it and subscribe to the channel. Remember to turn on the notifications um, so you get notified when I upload. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you guys next time here on the channel for another video. Bye everybody.